stranger called this morning, dressed all in black and grey, put every sound into a bag and carried them away. Smiling is infectious. You catch it like the flu. When someone smiled at me today, I started smiling too. Writing poetry involves playing with words, which helps ignite a love for language. A poem can evoke smiles, provoke thoughts, mm. and stir emotions, and even bring a tear to your eye. In this series of videos, we'll be exploring different types of poems. Today, we'll be learning about... Let's get started. I'm sure you already know what a compound word is. A word made from two smaller words. Tooth, brush. Foot, ball. Rain, coat. Well, besides fighting, the Vikings were also masters of crafting creative nicknames for things using compound words. For instance, they called a ship a wave floater. Arrows were war needles. Blood was battle sweat. And even their swords had names like Deathbringer or Widowmaker. They had a special term for these imaginative compound words. Kennings. We still use kennings today as part of our everyday language. A tall building is called a skyscraper. An emotional film is called a tearjerker. She made everything beautiful. And something that helps start conversations and get people talking is called an icebreaker. A kenning poem is a collection of kennings about a particular subject. The metaphorical nature of them means that they make great riddles. Can you guess what this Kenning poem is describing? Money taker, ticket giver, wheel turner, route follower, road watcher, bell ringer. Did you get it? A bus driver. Each of these kennings uses two words to describe a bus driver. You'll notice that I've added a hyphen between the words. And finishing each line with ER helps give it more rhythm. Let's think of some kennings to describe a teacher. Teachers ask questions. They share knowledge. They give homework. They mark books, and they make you follow rules. When coming up with word pairs, it helps me to think about noun and verb combinations. How about question asker, knowledge sharer, homework setter, grade giver, and rule enforcer? Your turn. Challenge one. Choose five of these animals and write a Kennings line for each. Challenge two. Write a six line Kenning poem about one of these objects. Challenge three. Write a Kenning poem about a member of your family. Here's one I wrote about my dad. Fabulous father, family leader, scholarship winner, acrobatic goalkeeper, proud soldier, wise head teacher, house builder, world traveler, hole in one golfer, crossword solver, advice giver, life's winner. <laughs> 